Howdy folks, it's Henry Tenby with Jetflix TV. It's now coming up on about 9.15. I'm at Vancouver Airport and yesterday Mikey McBrien of Buffalo Airways put out a tweet that uh, one of their Lockheed Electras was going to be here this morning at 10 a.m. And I thought I'd come out here, check it out, see if I could actually see the aircraft. I uh, have not seen an Electra coming up on 20 years now, something like that. So it's kind of a special aircraft for, for Vancouver and certainly for me. So uh, also a personal connection. I lived up in Yellowknife in the 90s and haven't photographed nor seen a Buffalo Airways aircraft since 1997. So that's a quarter century uh, event for me as well. So hopefully the Electra will make a performance. I believe it's a cargo drop, probably going down to Millionaire, so uh, we'll see what transpires. Well, it's about quarter to 11. Uh, actually, it's five to 11 right now. The Electra's due in in about 15 minutes. Uh, we're, we're with parallel runway operations here, so the Electra's probably gonna arrive on the north parallel, uh, 0826. So he'd be arriving on 08 left, and then taxiing over here to the south side. Uh, we'll have to see, uh, there's been, we haven't been able to see him in the air right now, so hopefully it will be here in the next 15 or 20 minutes, but quite a few people here to check out the scene. As you can see, the ops deck's, uh, pretty busy. For the departure, what I think I'm gonna do, I'll probably head over to the, the mound, uh, out by the, um, heli jet there for the departure, because as you can see, uh, behind me, there's a lot of aircraft, it's not gonna be easy to film his departure from here. So we'll just have to play it by ear and see how it goes. And um, at least the sun's out. Uh, the aircraft landed on 08 right and then it rolled out right to the end of the runway. It was actually quite an uninspirational arrival. It was pretty poor for us uh, videographers and, and photographers because the airplane didn't taxi into the south terminal uh, ramp areas where we could get a good view of it. And there was a lot of clutter because there were aircraft parked at the south terminal obliterating the view. So I'm going to film the departure from here. I'm not going back to the south terminal. I think that's a waste of my time. And we'll just wait and see if he leaves uh, in the next hour or so. So the Electra arrived at 11.15. It was actually, I believe, about 1984-85 that I last saw a Lockheed Electra here in Vancouver. Uh, at the time, NWT Air, my, my former employer, was operating Lockheed Electras on a Transcon cargo service uh, flying from here to Toronto, I believe via Edmonton, Calgary, Winnipeg. So the Electras were common in Vancouver up until the mid-1980s uh, with NWT Air, or Northwest Territorial, or as they were known at the time. But it's been at least since then uh, that we haven't seen a Lockheed Electra here in, in Vancouver. So my God, that's uh, 30, 35 years. I believe it is that long that we've not seen an Electra. So it's actually, actually quite incredible that we now have an Electra here today. And that's Millionaire right there. You can see the Electra sitting there. Actually, uh, we can see that there are people loading cargo. There's a huge truck. 
to the left of the aircraft and there are people loading and unloading cargo from a uh, flat flat deck loader there by the forward cargo door so maybe maybe there's going to be some action we'll just play it out and see what happens here well it's pretty cold out here uh, there's still activity going on at the Electra I see forklifts and things uh, hovering around the aircraft so I presume the aircraft isn't uh, night stopping here so I'll stick it out a bit longer see if the aircraft comes to life and departs it would be amazing to film the aircraft from this location to see the aircraft lifting off the runway uh, with a nice compression view of the departure and the trailing smoke. That would be awesome, but uh, we just have to see if I have the, uh, the kahunis to stick it out long enough here in this weather. Um, I don't know. I'll make a decision and we'll, we'll go from there. I mean, you can still see there are people milling around the aircraft. Uh, there's that forklift that's going uh, back and forth uh, from the truck that's parked there to the aircraft so I'm not sure if they're loading or unloading um, it's hard to tell from you know I'm a, at least a kilometer away here yeah I'd say I'm at least that so we'll see uh, it's about four degrees Celsius there's a little bit of a wind so it's not exactly a pleasurable comfort one has out here being an aviation spotter but again, uh, you know, seeing an Electra here in Vancouver is a pretty damn rare thing. It's been at least 35 years since I've seen one here before. So, yeah, for all time's sake, it's, uh, it's nice to see it. And hopefully I'll get it departing. Yeah, there's a guy walking out. Um, you can see, you just saw him right there walking out on the flat, flat deck uh, pallet loader. Yeah, I'd rather be at home with the iPad sitting in front of the hot fireplace, sipping a hot chocolate. Um, this is the rigors of being an aviation spotter. I've been at this location going back as far as the early 1980s, the same spot uh, photographing over the fence behind me. It was actually further inland, closer to the runway, when I was spotting here in the 80s, you know, 82, 83, 84. And uh, I'm actually getting uh, memories now coming back to me, flooding back of when I used to come out here and get hassled by the RCMP. There was a former um, Corporal, I can't remember his name, but yeah, the guy was just on us like flies on, you know what. We were just aviation enthusiasts having fun, and this guy took exception to that, but it was right in this location that um, I was doing that back then. Oh well. Howdy folks, it's 5 to 1 on Saturday, the 20th of November, 2021, and behind me is the Buffalo Airways Lockheed Electra. They've uh, unloaded or loaded their cargo here in Vancouver over at Millionaire there and we're just about ready to get the engine started and I'm going to film the aircraft departure from here. This is the mound at the end of the runway at the button of 2-6 left. It's going to be a better view I think than being over at the south terminal. It'll give me a lot longer uh, filming opportunity because at the south terminal there's just a narrow band of opportunity to film the aircraft as it taxis by and the departure is also sketchy with the buildings in the way and various aircraft. So I made the executive decision to come here to film the departure and it's going to be, yeah, really interesting to see. It'll be a compressed view looking down the runway of the aircraft taking off and belching black smoke and hopefully it'll be very cool. I think it will be. And what can I say? Yeah, it's been uh, the mid-80s since I last saw an Electra here in Vancouver. So that's uh, 35, 30, 37 years ago. So it's, it's been a few, a few moons uh, since we've seen an Electra here in Vancouver, and I'm happy to see one again. So it's 1.20, and we've got uh, engines starting here on the Electra, the two outboard engines. And I see a ground tech there in a vest underneath the aircraft. So. Other engines should be starting momentarily. By the way, if you're actually enjoying this video and you're a fan of the Lockheed Electra, thumbs up for the video would be awesome.
So I'm filming this for uh, at about two, uh, at least a kilometer and a half in distance from the aircraft there. Maybe I'm two kilometers away, I don't know. But he's taxing nice and slow so the guys down at the south terminal can get a nice opportunity to film him. she goes into the clouds. I hope it's not another 35 years that I see a Lockheed Electra here in Vancouver. Well, it turned out to be a great day and I got to reacquaint myself with both Buffalo Airways and the Lockheed Electra right here in Vancouver, my hometown. And I also got to meet up with two of my old aviation spotting friends from the 1980s, Paul Chu and Mike McGowan. So it was great seeing you guys, and I look forward to seeing everybody on the next interesting aviation visitor here at YVR. As you can see, I'm a lifelong dedicated aviation enthusiast, and I think you are as well. I've been interested in aviation and airlines and classic aircraft going back to when I was three years old. My first airport visits that I remember were in the summer of 1967. So vintage airliners, vintage prop liners, those are all my areas of specialty and interest. I'm also very interested in aviation video. You're probably interested in aviation video too because you're here watching on YouTube. I started video filming aircraft in the late 1980s and I've been digitizing old aviation movies and films from the 1950s for the last 20 years. If you're as passionate about aviation and video and film as much as I am, I'd like to invite you to try my new aviation streaming service that I created for fanatics just like us. It's called Jetflix TV. There are over a thousand full feature aviation videos and movies on Jetflix TV, which you can stream to your favorite device and you get unlimited access to Jetflix TV for a very low price. We're talking less than the cost of a cup of coffee per month. At Jetflix TV, we have many categories of aviation films to satisfy every interest and passion, including Russian aircraft, classic prop liners, classic jet liners, vintage post-war military aircraft, trip reports, airport reports, you name it, it's there. We digitized Air Canada's historic film archive, and we have the entire Air Canada, Trans Canada Airlines film archive 
on Netflix TV for you to enjoy. And that is dozens of films that I know that you're going to find absolutely fascinating. So there's a link in the upper right hand corner of this film right now that you can click on and it will take you to a page where you can sign up. You can enjoy the entire Netflix TV platform. Watch as much as you want and decide if it's for you. We release new content on an ongoing basis. So be sure to sign up. For a year, six months, one year, whatever you like, you're going to enjoy it. I look forward to seeing you at Jetflix TV.